Wildlife shooting is fascinating yet challenging. And it gets even more difficult when you don't have the right kind of equipment in your hands. And to most wildlife shooters, the lens is the most crucial gear in this case. But how do you choose the right lens? In this video, we're going to guide you step by step so that you choose the right lens for your wildlife shooting. So with that being said, let's get started. One of the most crucial factors when buying a wildlife lens is the focal length. Usually, lenses with a longer focal length are preferred. When you're shooting for wildlife, you might want to keep a safe distance. And there are some situations where you just can't reach. For those reasons, you need longer focal length lenses. Now the question is, how longer exactly? Well, if you're planning to shoot birds, it is recommended that you use a lens with at least 400mm focal length. And if you have the budget, you can go as high as 600mm or even 800mm. But if you're into shooting animals on the ground, a 200mm would be a good starting point as it would be more affordable. Another dilemma when shooting wildlife is whether to take a zoom lens or a prime lens. Most of the zoom lenses come with a variable aperture. When you shoot using the minimal focal length of a zoom lens, it works just fine. But as you zoom all the way, the aperture gets narrower, limiting lights and many other shooting possibilities. There is another notion about zoom lenses that the zoom lenses are not as sharp as the prime lenses. Though it is true in some cases, but this is not always the case. There are also zoom lenses that are even better than their prime counterparts. It's all about how much you can spend on your zoom lens. There are even zoom lenses with fixed apertures, but they're usually of a higher price. And if you're wondering why aperture is so vital in wildlife photography, well, things are quite unpredictable in wildlife shooting. So, it would be of help if you had lenses that are fast and capture more light. Lenses with an aperture less than 4 are usually good, but you shouldn't go beyond f5.6. In short, if you're accustomed to a particular focal length to shoot with, you can choose a prime lens. Otherwise, you can go for a zoom lens, just make sure that the highest end of the variable aperture doesn't get too narrower. Another critical aspect of the wildlife lens is the focusing capability. As we have already explained the wildlife shooting demands fast performing features, the same goes for focusing too. Now, how do you get to know if a lens has fast focusing ability? The first thing to look for in the measuring is the aperture value. The minimum the aperture number, the faster the lens. Usually, lenses with apertures between 2 to 4 are considered accurate and fast focusing lenses. Another determining factor is the construction of the lens. And here, the clear edge goes to prime lenses as they have fewer moving parts than zoom lenses. Apart from the mentioned features, there are some other features that you should look for while choosing a wildlife lens. One of the most important of those is optical stabilization. As telephoto lenses are more prone to shakes, you can easily ruin your shot. So always try to purchase lenses with optical stabilization. Besides, sometimes you might shoot under harsh conditions. Rain, dust and smudges are usual cases in wildlife. So. Weather protection and glass coating are also necessary for wildlife lenses. Apart from that, extra low dispersion glass elements for reducing chromatic aberration is also essential, particularly when you're shooting birds. So, that was all about the tips and tricks of choosing the best wildlife lens. If you find those tips helpful, let us know in the comment section.